Hello, welcome to another episode, holiday episode of The Relief Report. I'm your digestive dietitian, Stephanie Claremont, and this is the show where we help you get super clear on what's causing your digestive issues, things like gas, bloating, abdominal discomfort, pain, diarrhea, constipation, all those yucky, frustrating things. We get you clear on what's causing those so you can get back to living your life feeling relief and feeling good again. In today's holiday episode, we are going to talk about the five most common holiday triggers. So when you're out there in the world and you're at your celebration, maybe you're eating out, you're hanging out with friends, you're at a potluck, you're at work, you know, you're celebrating, there are five very, very common holiday triggers that we see during the holidays that are causing us to suffer with that pain, that discomfort, the gas, the bloating, all that yucky digestive stuff. So I want to give you this list of these five holiday triggers so that you can avoid them and get feeling well while you're partying and celebrating the holidays this year. Sound good? And if you need any more help or information about identifying your unique triggers, head on over to stephanieclaremont.com, check out information that we have there on the website, and get in touch if you want to learn how to become a client and join our Clarity program. Now let's get to those five most common holiday triggers. Now the first trigger that is most common that we see during the holidays is... Ba-ba-da-ba. Eggnog. That's right, my friend. Eggnog. (laughs) When else do we drink eggnog but during the holidays? Eggnog is a thick, dairy-rich beverage that also is full of fat. Those are two things that are terrible for digestion. Now, most people don't need to avoid dairy or lactose for the rest of their lives. We kind of have to figure out how much we can tolerate and we don't need to avoid fat either. But when you have a lot of fat at a meal or in a beverage and a lot of dairy at one time, it can really trigger those digestive symptoms, things like gas and bloating, even diarrhea or constipation. So beware of eggnog. Now, you don't have to avoid eggnog completely, but you might want to try something like an almond milk-based eggnog or even a coconut milk eggnog, which would be very delicious. Um, but you would be able to avoid that overconsumption of fat and dairy. So beware the eggnog. Now, holiday trigger food number two is actually fruit. That's right. We tend to eat a lot of fruit during the holidays. There's citrus is ready and there's oranges and clementines. People put out fruit platters and we just kind of pick all day long or all afternoon or all evening without realizing that we're over consuming fruit. Now, if you have digestive issues on an ongoing basis and you're someone with irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, celiac, or any kind of digestive health disorder or disease, you might want to minimize how much fructose you have, which is found in fruit. And so just as we head into the holidays and we don't have to get too deep into following a plan to get clear on your triggers quite yet, you know, So write me an email in January, I'll help you do that. Um, But for now, just minimize the amount of fruit you're having. So stick to about half of a cup of a serving, okay? That's not too much. That might be like two clementines or half an orange, but really minimize, enjoy the fruit, but just don't have giant bowls of it, okay? So that is trigger number two. Now, trigger number three, holiday trigger number three is candy canes. Well, candy canes and candy cane covered chocolate bark and other kinds of sugary treats like those delicious after eight mints and cookies and all the kinds of treats and sweets that come out contain things like high fructose corn syrup or corn syrup or sweeteners like sorbitol, mannitol, xylitol, those kinds of things. Those sweeteners and that excess of corn syrup or high fructose corn syrup can really trigger symptoms and they exist in all of these treats. Is it hard to keep me serious when I wear this adorable Christmas hat? (laughs) Stay focused. Okay, so, you know, it's those kind of candy canes and those treats and cookies and things that we really enjoy, and I'm not telling you not to have them. Definitely enjoy a treat, but be really mindful about what kind of sugar you're putting in your body. And if you can, maybe make some treats at home and be that special guest that brings them with you, and you bring that kind of healthier version of a cookie, um, you know, that isn't full of high fructose corn syrup. Or maybe you make your own uh, Christmas spicy nuts or your own kind of candy bark, but you look at the ingredients and you really try to minimize how much candy and sweets you're having and how much of that high fructose corn syrup you're having. Okay, holiday trigger food number four, you're not going to like this one, alcohol. 
Alcohol is a gut stimulant. So if you are someone that deals with diarrhea, loose stool, urgent bowel movements, you want to avoid alcohol or at least minimize it while you're celebrating. Now, I know we like to have a cocktail, a glass of wine. On stephanieclaremont.com, we have some really fun holiday cocktails. However, you have to decide. Do you want to feel good and comfortable in your body and not be running to the bathroom? Or do you want to have a cocktail or two? You don't need alcohol to celebrate and enjoy your life. The holidays are about love and laughter and family and fun and friends. You don't need alcohol. So I would really challenge you to think about if you need it, and if it's one of your triggers, okay? Holiday trigger number five, and then we're done. Ready? Dip. That's right. Dip. Dip is everywhere. We don't eat dip in real life, but when we go to celebrations, holidays, birthday parties, all this stuff, dip is everywhere. We have that spicy hummus that's full of garlic. We have that like delicious, you know, that like cheesy spinach dip. I love that thing. We have all these dips and they are full of tons of little triggers that can bother you. So no matter what the dip is, I would offer the advice that you either avoid the dip or you just try the dip and move on with your life and focus on those real foods that you can have during the dinner time and watch the appetizers, watch the dips, watch the overconsumption of these cheesy, spinachy, hummusy dips that we have. Okay, they are full of stuff. We're not gonna get into all the triggers in them. If you want help identifying your triggers, that's what I do, my friend. That's why I'm your digestive dietitian. You can head on over to stephanieclaremont.com anytime. We'd love to chat with you about how we can help for now avoid or minimize those five holiday trigger foods. Remember, that's eggnog, a ton of fruit, high fructose corn syrup, and all those sweets and treats, alcohol, and dips. All right, now, don't forget to celebrate, enjoy your enjoy your life, smile, laugh, have a great time, enjoy the other food, maybe bring some healthy foods from home that you can share with others and enjoy those holidays. My job here is to just make sure you're not running to the bathroom every five minutes so that you can enjoy yourself, all right? I'm gonna see you in another episode of The Relief Report. For now, happy holidays.